China, July 2005. World champion Danny Wei is preparing for a unique event. He wants to be the first person to jump the Great Wall of China on a skateboard. If he can do it, he could break three world records in the process. That's if he can survive the practice. Welcome to China and welcome to Beijing, host city for the 2008 Summer Olympic Games and to one of the wonders of the world, the Great Wall of China. But today I'm not here as your historian or tourist guide. We're here to break world records, three of them to be precise, and on a skateboard. This is the Chinese Skateaway. This is the largest ramp ever constructed in the world. The process started seven months earlier on a planning trip to Beijing. I think I'm just hoping to find a, a nice area where I can build a, a takeoff and a landing ramp and not have any big obstacles in the way. I mean, the wall is one obstacle, but hopefully there's nothing else in the, in the, in the vicinity of the area that, we, that these guys propose I jump the wall. Oh, you're going to accept that. All right, we're going to jump the wall right there. It's done. Let's get out of here. Danny has brought his well-traveled and familiar jump team, including friend JT of VP Industries, who will be responsible for the build. It's up to Danny and JT to choose the most spectacular, but also the safest place for the jump. The wall, in some spots, is you know is is a is a little less. Um, I guess it's just not as big as I envisioned in some spots, so I'm trying to find an area that I feel would be uh, something that I would consider, you know, I'd feel good about. I wouldn't want to cheat on this one, so I'm trying to find some section on the... We're trying to find a section here that would actually be a legitimate jump for me. Um, there's definitely spots of the wall that are enormous, but there's some that aren't, and... I just have the motor, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel right unless I found a, a spot that was really magnis magnis magnificent. Sorry, it's freezing out. I can barely talk. So I think right here, jumping from there over here, is the widest spot of the wall, which I feel does the most justice for skateboarding and uh, the possibility of breaking a world record. So. What do you think of Danny jumping this, doing this, now that you've seen it? I don't know. <laughs> some concerns that popped into your head and thinking, well, oh, it's the Great Wall, I mean. You know, not until he told me that a mountain biker died. <laughs> that was the first time. Tragically, in October 2002, Wang Xiaoziong died while attempting to jump the Great Wall on a mountain bike. Okay, Mr. Wang said, you know, on that day or before that, yeah. you know, when you are building the, the ramp, you can build wherever you want on the square. Okay. It's yours. After several false starts, the team has finally got the go-ahead from their Chinese hosts. Now, the build can start. I think it's going to be spectacular. And Danny Wei knows all about the spectacular. As with his previous record attempt jumps, Danny will go back to the California desert where he builds and rehearses on identical ramps. But the hot, dry air of the desert is very different from the humid atmosphere of Beijing, as Danny was about to find out to his cost. Now the ramp is split into two sections, the first part being the takeoff area, which has a 60 degree steepness to it. It means that Danny will accelerate from 0 to 55 miles per hour quicker than a Porsche Turbo. He then hits the kicker and flies over what is called the open zone. On landing on the second part of the structure, he's looking to put that skateboard in an area which he calls the sweet spot. 
He will then land, accelerate once again, and look to break yet another world record by flying the highest any other skateboarder has ever flown out of the halfpipe, in excess of 25 feet into the air, and then landing back into the halfpipe. The crowd will be going crazy, and Danny Way from California will have broken three world records in just one jump over the Great Wall of China. Seven months, 14,000 nails and 60,000 screws later, it's the day before the event and Danny gets his first and only chance to practice his dramatic jump. The Great Wall plays majestic host to this extraordinary stunt, which is going to be watched by an estimated Chinese television audience of 32 million people. Final checks complete, it's time for Danny's practice jump. The initial impression isn't good. Danny has landed heavily on the platform before the down ramp and then fallen into the halfpipe. His team are quickly on the scene, with his doctor immediately trying to reduce any swelling. Any serious injury at this point will almost certainly put an end to this one and a half million dollar record attempt. Despite the possibility of a career-affecting injury, the only one who really seems concerned is Danny's wife, Carrie. About the size of rolling and drop, and he's, I think so. I mean, he's he's just learning, he's just doing the post-match analysis. What's the prognosis? He wants he wants to go again. He wants to go again. He wants more speed off the top. They're going to build him some more rolling, and he's going to go again. So that's the prognosis. Danny and his team are convinced that the injury to his ankle can be treated with an anti-inflammatory injection of cortisone and that with a night's rest he should be able to jump tomorrow. Danny's wife, however, doesn't seem so sure. During his career, Danny has broken both wrists, shattered an elbow, separated a shoulder and broken his ribs. He's also had three ligament surgeries on his knee, but with an event tomorrow which has cost so much money to stage, there doesn't seem to be a plan B. Your ankle's jacked for real, big time, right? That's why I said, I knew when you hit it, and I was like, son, if you do yourself like this, you're I'm gonna get some cortisone shot on the thing. Uh, I came here to make it over the wall and roll away. Yeah. That's all I care about. Like, everything else is icing on the cake, you know what I mean? Yeah. I can just shoot the wall and make it. Yeah, so go by the hospital, yeah. and then I'm gonna get the cortisone, and give, we're gonna give the injection at the hospital, okay. and then we're gonna go back to the hotel, and we're gonna implement all the measures that we would, elevate, massage ice, and then we'll see what we can do tomorrow morning. Good. This is what it takes to make it happen. This is what it takes. They're cleaning up his arm and then they're going to be giving him some cortisol in the ankle to reduce swelling and then he should be good to go home and get some rest and do it all again tomorrow. There's no reason. It looks like just a real bad sprain, and hopefully we'll be able to get a good injection done and get him back on the ramp tomorrow. It doesn't look like there's a fracture at this point. What I've learned about the injury is that the injury is going to have to go on hold for 24 hours, and I'll address it later. I'm going to have to get some temporary fix, which is cortisone. I've never had a cortisone shot in my life. I'm, believe it or not, I have not had one ever. And uh, the situation gives me no other option 
but I need to uh, conquer what I set out to do, and that's jump into the wall, and I will jump into the wall tomorrow. This is the Zhu Yongguan Gateway to Beijing. Thousands of years of history all around me. But today is about the Chinese government embracing youth culture. They've invited the world skateboarding champion Danny Wei to perform an amazing stunt to fly on his skateboard over the Great Wall of China. It's been seven months in preparation in China alone, and Danny aims to travel the fastest, fly the furthest, and climb the highest of any skater in history. Unfortunately, yesterday in practice, it all went a bit wrong. It seems the humid air of the Beijing summer is causing Danny to fly slower than in his practice jumps in the dry conditions of the high Californian desert. In hospital, with a possibly sprained ankle and severe friction burns to his forearm, the prospect for a jump today looks slim. Here we are, uh, the day of the event. Uh, we had a little practice uh, malfunction yesterday, trying to get the ramp adjusted correctly and trying to figure, figure out the physics of it. Um, little miscalculation. Ca Could have cost me a lot more bodily harm than it did. I took a pretty good blow to my ankle. Uh, pretty lucky I'm standing on it right now. I mean, obviously, you know, I put a lot of energy and time into making this happen and uh, an ankle injury is not going to take me out at this point. So today I feel is going to be a big success and um, we're going to get it done, you know. I'm confident. And it'll be painful, And <laughs> but at the same time, everything else is working. My brain's in one piece. My heart's beating. It's going to be beating really hard pretty soon, actually. Um, the, only, the only weak link is my ankle. And uh, I, I feel like I've done what I, as much as I could do to get it in a position that it would even allow me to walk on it today, let alone try this, you know. It doesn't know yet what it's a, what, what's a, what's up ahead, but it's gonna definitely get a little. Uh, I think it's gonna be a little upset as soon as it finds out. Jason, you know him better than anybody. Is he gonna break these records and will he jump the wall of China? Yeah, yeah, he will. I'm not even nervous for him. His wife is incredibly nervous. I haven't seen her like that before, but I am not nervous at all. But yeah, I will be right when he jumps it, just because it's a dangerous thing to do. But I, 100%, he'll make it. He's Danny Wayne. Like, I, I, nobody, know, you guys don't know, but I do. You know what I mean? It's been 10 years he's been owning this game, and, it, and, and he owns it for a reason. You know what I mean? He's the dude that gets to pay the big bucks for a reason. He doesn't, everyone thinks, I would love to do this. Other pro skateboarders are like, I would love to do this. Give me an opportunity to shine on this. And then put them up on that roll in, and they'll, and they'll give it all back to you. <laughs> they don't want it. You won't want it when you go up there. It's a, it's, it's a nightmare. Like, I would hate to be in his shoes last night, sleeping in his hotel room knowing that I'm going to go down this jump. It's a lot of glory, but man, what a stress. The jump is not just significant for Danny. The eyes of China's growing youth culture are upon him. If he achieves the records, it might just improve the image of skateboarding in a country which still maintains a very strong link with its ancient sporting disciplines. It's a long way from Danny's extensive training facility in California, but this is the only skateboard park in Beijing. Jump the Great Wall is very important for the action sports in China, you know. Before Danny we come here, Few people know skateboarding. Many parents think skateboarding is just a game for the bad boy. They smoking, they uh, skateboarding, they drinking. But then we come here, do the jump. Everybody knows skateboarding, and uh, maybe the parents will think, uh, maybe my child can skateboarding. 
Skateboarding is slowly filtering into the public consciousness in China. But there's one thing the government could do to really seal its future. Today is very interesting for Chinese extreme fans. I think uh, we will do my best to push the promotion this. this.